Hey guys and gals and YouTubers, farm sim lovers, welcome. This is your host Raven2012 and today we're going to take a look at this map. And this map is called LTW Farming Map. This is version 0 0.9 beta. And the developer their name is, the modder is uh, Bauer R. So yeah, this is one I really wanted to show you guys. I found it uh, the other day and I have to show you this one because this is a really amazing map. Um, first of all, it's got all your basic stuff in it. There is no modded like animals or cattle or beef or anything like that. Um, let me see here. Let's bring it up here. I believe there is not. Nope. Uh, there is no multi fruit either. So you're probably seeing what is pretty amazing about this map. And it seems like it's a smaller map too if you look at it on the map. But it's actually a pretty decent sized map. And the thing that I'm loving about this map is the fields. And you'll see them here shortly. These fields are pretty awesome and that's the one of the reasons I wanted to show you this map so let's speed up time here uh, as far as starting equipment uh, it's not something I'm going to really show you right now because I really want to show you this map uh, it's just basic stuff here you got two dudes fars, a hurley man uh, your sample yada 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 so you get the idea here I want to show you this map. This is definitely what I want to show you. So let's take this guy here. We don't need that weight. Might get in the way. So I guess this is the main farm here. We've got a little uh, silo bunker right here. Well, it's not really a bunker because it doesn't look like a bunker. But it's basically uh, where you're going to put your uh, silage and ferment it. Nice flat little area. You're going to need an um, animated map door trigger, Gilly Mist mod, and uh, Chop Straw. Nothing uh, too uh, sophisticated for this map, like I said. It's got a forestry area here, little area right here. Really tiny little, tiny little main farm. Whoa. Looks like there's a funky little greenhouse across the street. So let's take a run around here and see uh, the fields and so the main the main showing of this uh, map is the fields. Uh, be aware too, this is one of those maps it's going to you're gonna get tight spaces and be a little confined and it's because these Fences, you can't clip through them, so you gotta be really careful with this map. But um, yeah, some of the scenery here is pretty beautiful, and just wait to see some of these big fields up north. These are some really awesome fields, and I think this is one right here, 16 or 17. they're pretty massive these things are huge if you look on the map it doesn't look that small but if you're uh, driving through it it is freaking huge a lot of contours a lot of curves it's not your square type uh, fields really rolly some of these are plowed, some of them are cultivated, but look at, I mean, you're going to get some pretty awesome um, visuals if you're working in uh, on the harvester in the fields. And off in the distance, there's the uh, windmill. But look at the scenery, guys. This is pretty awesome. So I would consider this a medium-type size map. Uh, it's in beta. 
uh, he may add more areas to these blank areas so we don't know he may uh, he may add modded stuff like the um, swines and um, cattle the beef cattle but um, it's honestly not a big deal because with a lot of placeables nowadays with the UPK stuff you can make a map into anything and if you want to get into the swines you can just go to Maru's site and he has the um, placeable uh, pig area now where you can grow little pigs so let's check out this area 19 is a really nice field too I'll take you on over here there's a um, another little area back here this is where your cattle are there's a lot of these little fenced off areas and that's going to be where you're going to probably <coughs> excuse me get grass but yeah you're approaching the cattle area <coughs> take a look in there it's where you get your slurry oh actually this is not the grass area this is actually the uh, field for your cows the pasture it's pretty nice yeah you can get a lot of cattle in here so you're gonna be doing a lot of uh, slurry and probably do a lot of uh, uh, slurry spreading Let's go check on over here. There's a lot of storage here. Oh. Potatoes. Could have been sugar beets. Yeah, those were probably sugar beets. Potatoes. So you can store your stuff here for the cattle. And there's some more storage here. And here is where you're going to be uh, storing your grains, dropping off your grains, since the main farm is really tiny. It's kind of broken up into uh, multiple farms. And some more silage areas, two more. Uh, another storage area here. So a lot of stores. This is probably going to be your main farm, actually, where you would keep all your equipment. And the other farm is probably where you just live. You would commute here every day. Uh, let's go check out this area. Uh, let's check out really quick. What? Um, how many areas you got to sell? So you got the freight yard. You got something in the Landendale. Another freight. Actually, that's freight yard Landendale. Train wood chips and the windmill. So you got uh, roughly uh, four or five. And up north here is there's a little forestry area up here. You can do some forestry. And uh, here's the uh, train depot area. Got your scale over here. Lots of lumber. There's a lumber train. So the trains are both here. That's pretty cool. That makes sense. Some other maps just have them spread out. There's an ATM here. Uh, forestry's up here. I'll take you to forestry and then we'll drop down south to check out some of these other fields. So we can't cut through some of these fields because they're fenced off, so you gotta go the long way. But I I'm really loving this map. I'm really thinking about doing a a side by side let's play with my uh two rivers map with this map. This is I don't know, I'm pretty impressed with this map. I think the thing I want to do is actually get working on these fields because these fields are massive. I want to work these fields. I mean you can use some big equipment here. Look at this field here, 19. It's got these little uh, ditches in the middle here. Got some drainage. 
when I first drew um, drove on here I thought this was one field and then I looked on the map and I was like wow this is one massive field field 19 oh did we see the forest report yeah forest is right here there is an entrance to it trees are kind of spread out but you can always populate it if you want to um, either uh, beforehand or uh, planting stuff in here but yeah it's got the ground textures for the uh, forestry area so you got a little nice area to work on your forestry uh, FPS on this map is really good I'll get a little tiny dips when we get into the town area and that's about it um, this whole map runs great so let's head south guys uh, what is this area over here there's something over here a little area for you can store stuff over there some sort of equipment area let's go check that out I mean this is why we're here oh is this another This is another area right here. Oh, well, jeez, we're gonna have a lot. There's a lot I've seen. I'm seeing today. I didn't see yesterday. So yeah, it's like a little car park. Can we get in there? Oh, that's sad. Huh? Must be one of those things where it's just. I should put money in there. <laughs> that would be funny. Probably one of those things that just closed off and don't want anybody in there. That's kind of interesting. I wasn't going to use it anyways. Let's jump across the street over here and check this out. Uh, what is this? Some sort of cell point. It's got gas here. Uh, let's zoom in. I can't see the other icon. Maybe the area to sell your chicken eggs, probably. I think that's what it is. Yeah, I think you can sell your chicken eggs over here. Um, more scales, oh, nice. Let me see these silos. Maybe this is a storage. No, that's just for that store. Could be some sort of bakery. Twenty. Let's jump into twenty here. That's another large one. So a lot of the large ones are up north. But man, this is what this is what fields are supposed to look like. Like all different shapes, contours. Look at this. It's got a little. Uh, little area up here in the middle that's kind of cool now oh, what's that right next to it well that's field 21 isn't it no oh, that's the edge of the map wait a minute that is field 20 that little pocket right there is field 20 it just goes around there on the side that is interesting I wonder how course play detects this field. I want to take a look at this. Let's see what this looks like with course play. Uh, it's, it's going way over there. Is that still part of that field? Oh my goodness, I wouldn't have saw that without course play. And this field is like... Wow, this is this is a cool field. I like field 20. It's got a lot to it. That is awesome. This will be one of those really fun fields though. I'm going to turn this off. 
Uh, I don't remember. This one. There we go. Yeah, that is awesome, guys. I've never seen a map like this. So kudos to the uh, modder. Bauer R. Kudos, my friend. And like I said, it seems like a small map, but I'm traveling around and it's quite a distance getting around here. I'm just driving through all the fields. I'm trying to get you guys a feel of the uh, fields here. And uh, there's a biogas plant here. We're approaching that. And we'll go to the garden center and check out the town. And um, we'll probably end this. So yeah, it's on Monholsters. It's also on other sites. But um, oh, I'm trapped. I can't skip on over. They kind of want you to use these roads. So I like that idea. They want you to come in and out a certain way on these fields. Well, let's see if I can idiot my way out because I'm probably going to get her stuck. There we go. Okay. Get you a little first person view here. Look at this field right here. 22. It's just like Hamburger Hill or there. Bunker Hill. It's got like these uh, building up there and a bunch of trees right there. That's interesting. And here's the BGA. It's got like two, three flat bunkers. Pretty small, but uh, it works. It works with this map. Uh, this must be where you do the uh, wood chips too. Bioheating. Would this be bioheating somewhere here? Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's go check out. Uh, how do we get out of here? What if I go left? We don't want to go left. I feel like I'm not going to get out of here, guys. There's so many different roads. There's like dirt roads. Road roads. Thing is, getting in some of these areas, you can't get out. Like I said, these fences. Like these grass areas. What is that over there? I thought that was a deer. Yeah, check out this. Looks like a golf course. Looks like there's, um... This field's not planted, though. I am on... Field 22. And... There's nothing on this field. No, oh, actually there is. I believe that's sugar beets. Okay, or oh, that could be blank. No, that's sugar beets, I believe. That's a lighter one. It's weird texture. So here's another forestry area down south along the perimeter of the map. So you can get your forestry in. Oh, found a road. And uh, what is this area here? This is not the shop, is it? No, oh, it's some storage area for lumber. I don't think it's a sell point because it's not showing up on the map. No, it's some sort of like storage area. You can put your equipment here, your forestry stuff, and uh, work out of here. Maybe store some of the pallets or something if you have the um, sawmill near. Okay, we're approaching civilization. See what I'm saying? We've been driving here forever. And it's a pretty good sized map. Uh, I don't 
One thing I'm noticing up there, you see on the top of the map in the blank area, there's actually a sheep icon. I don't know why that's there. Uh, because we can't access the sheep. Can we? I assume we can buy sheep. I'm gonna check that out. Maybe they're up in the mountains or something. I really don't know. So here's the main town area. It's the shop. Um, got some uh, area to the left there. Looks like, looks like a cat. That would like be like a horse ranch down there or something. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Check out the store really quick. I feel like this is going to be a really long. Um, map showing. What is that in there? Some sort of trigger? What is this? Oh, okay. Nice. I was like, I almost thought that was going to like shoot me into like tractor mechanic or something. I was like, oh man, they're going to be shooting tractors in here and I have to fix them. That'd be pretty cool. So yeah, like I said, I am getting a little bit of FPS, but that's normal for town areas and maps. Should we cut over this way? So I can't possibly show you everything because there's just so many little nooks and crannies in this map just let you guys discover it well here's your missions you can do your uh, little side missions I haven't been on this side of the map when I was checking it out yesterday I don't know what's over here looks like Something's interesting over there. I see gates that look like a horse ranch. No, oh, it's the house. Oh no, this is that farm we started on. Tiny little farm. Let's go this way. I want to head up north and um. Yeah, I'm already lost. <laughs> I want to head up north. I want to see if I can find those sheep for you. Oh, there's a lighthouse. Oh, there is there an ocean? Is there a lake? Could this top could this map be topped off by a lake? A waterfall? Oh, there's seaside here. I did not see that last time. Cozy little seaside area. Awesome. Awesome. Come out here, relax, do some fishing, get some sun. Get away from the farm. Man, I'm loving this map every second. I may have to consider another LP here. I haven't did to side by side a long time. It's going to be a little bit difficult right now with this the baby. But I might try to make this happen. I got to. You guys got to I got to make this happen. Oh, there's um Okay, wait. I think I found the sheep. They're over here. So yeah, there's no water mod either. So like it's like I said, it's your it's basic stuff. So uh, the sheep are actually at the icon of the wool area. So that's uh, a little confusing. I don't know. The icons probably need to be fixed a little bit. Um, I don't know where the spinnery is then. I think it might have been actual though. Windmill maybe. Uh, let's purchase some sheep and make sure this is the uh, sheep area. Yep, this is the sheep area. So 
so like I said it's pretty basic doesn't have a lot of the different uh, like UPK mods and placeable mods and all those swine stuff and whatnot and uh, uh, beef mod which is fine I mean it's fine I really like it like this I think what I would like to see in this map is possibly the water mod because I just love the water mod in all the maps and uh... yeah that would... I mean yeah water mod could work for this map because I always, I always just love watering my animals besides just um... feeding them I mean he could probably make it work with this map I don't know uh... do these gates open? no I don't think the sheep gates can open. I know the cattle, you can go in there. Um, maybe you could put the water watering area inside the sheep. I've seen that before in Ammo Gallon Alpine where you can actually go in there. But I don't know if you can do that anymore. But you can always put it here on the side too. Water over here or something. I don't know. I don't know, I mean... I like it the way it is. I mean, I could do without the water mod with this map, really, you know. So that is basically it. I just wanted to find the uh, sheep area. Really nice map, guys. This is why I made this uh, long video for you guys. I mean, it wasn't going to be that long. I was discovering a lot more to this map than I noticed, so. It's one of those big little maps. Really great. Oh my god, it's very scenic. It's, um, it's awesome. I'm liking it. It's up there with one of my like, top five maps now. And this is a guy's called uh, LTW Farming Map. Uh, it's in uh, 0 0.9 beta. And it's bound by our R. And like always, the description. Uh, yeah, the link is going to be down in the description. So uh, definitely check this map out, guys. If you're looking for a new map to play and want something a little bit different, go ahead and check this map out. Alright, guys. You have a great day and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.